Hello and welcome back to Dear Automata, and in this conspicuously long episode... Mm, do you wish to open this data now? Remember, you have the option to open it later, but we decided to open it now because this is commentary and we're exposing... A tale. Yes, a story, if you will. A dusty wind kisses my cheeks. Buried in sand, we press forward one step at a time. We have nowhere else to go, after all. Because our models, the D Devola and Popola models, are defective. Ah, story time. Uh, mind you, the pods are accessing this data. Because it is possible. That we may have just lost the consciousness is of the Devola and Popola models, who appear to make the ultimate sacrifice in order to get 9S's ass inside the tower. For the door shut, and the goddamn security system had blocked all other access. So this is the first time we've heard it, uh, heard it called Project Gestalt, Gestalt right? Uh, well, the... 9S had touched on files describing the, the 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 Gestalt project. The Gestalt project is a progenitor for Project Yorha. Ah, okay. You know that is when that is when humanity was still around. That Project Gestalt was recording and saving the human genome for posterity. And yes, that Project there was Yorha, anxiety as well. But we existed as a pair. We shared Destiny's burden as a pair. And because of that, all hesitation was swept away. Now Each the pair was given their own models. cities as observation areas. We were ordered to guide the, the replicants with our own hands. All for the sake of the promised time that would one day arrive. Yep, the rep, the near replicant, self ref, self referential humor. We were the only ones who could handle such a duty. We were observers, after all. And they did a lot of more observing. rocks. <laughs> Devola uh, staggers and falls in the soft yet unforgiving sand. I hurry to her side and sigh with relief. When I find she's not seriously hurt. Oh yeah, that's right. That's the uh, the story takes a twist. <laughs> All right, so that's who, right. Who we're both supposed to be female. Out? Damn it! She <laughs> smiles the, the same wry smile I know so well, and she rubs absently at her leg. It is wrapped in a white bandage. Kind of weird to wrap uh, mechanical parts with bandages, but oh well. Well, no, it's not. Remember, they're androids. They're, they're androids. It's it's blood. It's blood and flat. They're, they're basically they're basically terminators, but they're not they're not really terminators. They're better. Cloud. Than that. The flesh is a, uh, the the flesh is just covering the mechanical parts. Come on. I am a cybernetic organism, living tissue over metal endoskeleton. Mm. As you recall runs from and turns away, because as you recall from the demo, that 9S is actually mechanical boy who has sparky broken leg towards the end and is unable to defend himself, while 2B puts on the pants in the family and kicks some fucking robot ass. Artificial skin, torn and bloodied, peeks out from beneath the bandage. Judging by Devola's current lack of am am ambulatory control. I imagine the circuitry underneath has been damaged as well. See? Mechanical life forms. No, they are mechanical. Oh, yeah, damn it. It's a choose-your-own-adventure yeah. choose of yeah, light novel. Yeah, you see? You see, <sighs> Nero Nier Automata has a lot of different genres. Now we're, now we're going to the choose-your-own the, the choose story genre. Bet you weren't expecting that, were you? Check the circuitry. Thank you. 
Yes, I well, I mean, it was the first choice, but I also said, like... <sighs> you see, you see, if the nerve impulses are dead, then the, the body parts are unable to communicate with the brain, which is making the, which is make, calling the shots. Although I think, it's okay, I think that, Devola. <laughs> so, the uh, the game would lead you to believe that one choice is better than the other. I'd like to think that it changes the expository material that that is a consequence of your decision, which would make you want to replay this in order to see what the other option would lead to. Play in gigantic air quotes. <laughs> I calmly change the bandage, trying not to let my worry show. I make it as tight as possible so no sand can slip inside. It's all I can do until I get the proper materials. But that's going to be a tall order. Considering our current uh, condition... I don't know why I hesitate. I guess maybe it was because they are female characters. I have this, we both I have apologize this while insisting voice. the other owner's apology isn't necessary. So yeah, even at this point uh, in your in your house development, uh, these uh, uh, android life forms are are mostly human. But is this a product of? Some kind no, of no. This is a product of, of experience, rather explicitly, as as we've been, as it's been hammered throughout the entire damn game. Every time our mechanical life forms experience uh, human scenarios, they change slightly. Mm. Devolos' sharp voice echoes mm, through our private quarters. Yes, the replicants. What, 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 whatever those are. I, I didn't play the replicant. Even, they wouldn't understand even if they did. Oh, here, right. Mm. Annoyed at my hesitation, Devola crosses her legs and scowls. No, you see, you see why there is so much fan fiction uh, d revolving around these two. <laughs> I'm with Devola. I'm with Devola here. If um if we've already got three victims in a month, yeah, we we should probably be more active than uh, just just sitting around waiting for things to happen. Her shout makes me jump just a little, but enough for her to notice. Seeing that, her eyes suddenly open wide. See, they give a shit about each other. You know, this this see the thing the one one flaw that I find with this uh, with, with this back and forth is that it do, it doesn't indicate who's speaking. They're fucking twins. Uh, there's no. context clues. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we're still doing A B A B, so. It, it, well, there's only only two characters in this narrative. When I was oh, okay, first well, assigned they're, they're... to Project Gestalt, I was over the moon with pride. Yes, a feeling of pride. But now, my chest hurts just to think about it. If it were uh, to fail, which, it, you know, to be perfectly honest, Gestalt and Yorha haven't failed so much as they've, you know, just gone on, uh, gone on far longer than they were supposed to. Before we knew it, the replicants had gained a sense of self and the Brack Scroll started raging out of control. Oh, so, so the, the it's replicant... not a virus from Eve. It moved the, the, fast. The, repli the replicants must be... Th this must be the beginning of the machine army that eventually wipes out humanity on Earth. Mm. You know, they, they're replicating themselves, is the, is the contextual inference I'm drawing. It's supposed to be Devola and I, but oh well. I mean, I, I I can't even I can't even re remember which one actually combs their hair and which one is untidy. I mean, the 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 whole idea is like so 
part of the reason why the Popola and Devla model was flawed is that it's more like one consciousness split into two different bodies that have to each care for each other, and it it create it created it it created an insoluble conflict. The, so, the self interest really so versus clever? uh well well uh, well Popola they made you so. And yes, humans are really that cruel. Yeah. I simply couldn't bear such a burden all alone. Well, see, that's why you have a twin, is so you have somebody to share that burden with you. I mentioned last part that I thought that Devola and Popola were, oh, were akin to Salamander and Undine from Drakengard 1. I'm not entirely <laughs> sure how how close that is, mind you, because I've only skimmed through Drakengard one. So, hmm. well, you would be you would be our scholar on that matter. I haven't played Drakengard. Honestly, Drakengard two is a is a pretty good Dynasty Warriors game. Yeah, but it wasn't okay. Nothing was okay. All thanks to a pair of Devola and Popola models from another town. Right, because they're not the only Devola and Popola models. Well, De Devola, but I, I forgot the emphasis. The emphasis is not on, is not on the vo; it's on the d. The d. It's grown cold out here. We walk with renewed purpose, hoping to make up for lost time. Devola loses her balance every now and then. It gets bad after a while. I slip myself under her arm so she won't fall again, and we pass and we press on. Yes, press warmly on those soft, womanly bosoms. <laughs> She smiles as she says this, but I can tell she doesn't have much left. And yet, she continues to smile, all so I won't worry. But you do worry, don't you? That is the contradiction. The contradiction that brings a consciousness apart. I remember when our resistance allies injured her leg. I was furious, beyond fury. I wanted to scream and cry and lose myself in it. But then she smiled, and all of that rage just drifted away. Now we see that twinhood is keeping away the passions that might render one consciousness to pieces. To think we have the same face, yet such different smiles. One day I realized how she reminded me of the martyrs I'd seen in old records. That was the day we decided to leave our town forever. I'm reminded a lot of the fake-out ending for our World of Final Fantasy, honestly. <laughs> like, we're Break going through this it. extremely protracted, um, a somber segment, but... You know, we still it, have it, a full it ten a... parts left of gameplay, technically. Yeah, well, this is this is the story-heavy portion of it, and I'm happy that we're, uh, we're, we're taking this on. All in, due in to the actions of the other parts. popular models from another town. With the original Gestalt lost, humanity was doomed to an inevitable extinction. Knowing this, we gathered what remain what remaining replicant data we could we could find and launched it to the surface of the moon. And that's where the bunker comes from. And though success was as unlikely as finding a lost grain of a lost sand grain in the desert, we still had to attempt it. We still had to try. Many questions, yes. We were androids, you see. Protecting humanity was our instinct. Other androids, beholden to that same instinct, began to direct their hated the Devola and Popola models who'd snuffed out uh, humanity. Hold it! Are we actually claiming that e Adam and Eve are Devola, uh, Devola and Popula? You know, that, that, is a, that is a conclusion that I did not draw. That is, that is rather interesting. That Adam, Adam and Eve also are twin-like. 
And they also have well, a strong yeah, they're very literally for each twins. other. That... That the, the Devola and Popola models also had these derivatives. Like, the ones that were, instead of being protectors as they were supposed to, they were actually causing more harm than good. And it threw the entire... The, the entire cast of Devil and Popola models into the same dirty bucket. However, that Adam and Eve are a perversion of that model that although they shared they, they shared a, ki a, a kindness and a liking and also a protective a protectiveness for each other they despised humanity mm, we were observers for project gestalt after all and while we didn't cause it to fail the people who did well they looked just like us so we accepted it we took the resentment and scorn we endured we were unable to purchase ice cream from a meal. It was very sad. Because as crazy as it sounds, I think we actually felt responsible. Nah, don't don't take on undeserved guilt. That's a life lesson. If the guilt does not belong to you, it is not yours to have and bear. But in one such town, my seemingly infinite patience finally broke. My sister, Devola, met with unprovoked violence at the hands of a resistance member. She said something in, in response to his taunts. Something quiet. And though her words were ambiguous, he slashed her leg near, nearly in two. Damn it, we it's just bandaged that! We just fixed it. So you see, now it is inconsequential that we tried fixing it. Damn it. It's okay, sis. There's nothing we can do. Okay, is this is this happening, like, right after the slash, or did this some right time after. pass, or... <laughs> I'm simply not strong enough to stand aside and let the most important person in the world come to harm. Have you seen Collateral Beauty, uh, Mr. Cloud? Nope. I watched it last night. It's honestly a really good Christmas movie. Eh, Christmas. Violence like that wouldn't stop. It was going to happen again, and it wouldn't be coming from just one person. So rather than let them kill us, we ran. I guess it was the greatest uh, resistance I could muster. Well, how could you run on a bad leg? Uh, they're androids. Fun. Matter of fact, they're, they're effectively earlier versions of the Yorha androids. We lose the suns. Dark clouds gather overhead. We continue our march. A cold wind blasts us, stealing what little body heat no, we have left. Mm, I smell rain in the air. Mm, we continue our march. Hey, uh, Mr. Cloud, why do the uh, yeah. older um, uh, your haunt units happen to have olfactory senses? Because they resemble people, Mr. Gerdat. <sighs> but... That's why... But... <laughs> if we were going to actually improve upon humanity, I would think one of the first things that we had attempted to get rid of in order to make additional uh, processing space would be olfactory receptors. Well, it's easier to sympathize, learn from, adapt, grow, when you understand that you're based on people who have those same characteristics. And also, because this is a game telling a story, that it's easier for us, the viewers, to sympathize, understanding that these are basically human creatures, just that they're androids. Why must we suffer this persecution? I know we're the same model as the androids who doomed humanity, so I understand that part, at least a little, anyway. But at the same time, we're not them. We're not the same. 
We are who we are, and that Devolva and Popola were who they were. If only they could understand, but they don't. And that's how I felt when I saw Devolva uh, being hurt. I wanted to shout it at everyone. I wanted to scream. I wanted to play Devil May Cry 2 for some reason, and that's a bad video game. <laughs> as far as I'm concerned, there's only one Devola, and for her, there's only me. No one can take the others, the other's place. Are we gonna get another choice here? I think I think that por that portion of the choose your own tale story has come and gone, my friend. We only got two choices, and neither oh. of them mattered. No, we got it. Well, actually, we only had one choice. Ugh. It was. It's still well. You know, did you choose the bird or the cage? Okay, you choose one but not the other. Okay, now play the game again and see what happens when you choose the other one. Did anything different happen? Of course not. And you know why? Because it was just the illusion of choice. Yeah, but this game doesn't doesn't really want to say anything about the illusion of choice. It wants it wants to um a hype on the, it wants to uh, hyper fixate on the fu on the futility of cyclical existence. <laughs> yes. We press our press bodies, your bodies together, together to try and retain heat. Retain heat. It's cold Artists. now. Much Make worse renders. than the searing heat of midday. But we just smile at each other and keep pressing on. Yes, keep pressing. Sensually. There's another camp on the other side of the desert. A new camp. If we can just get there. I can finally fix Devola's leg. You see, I'm not. I'm not saying I necessarily, you know, condone incest memes. Just that, you know, Rule Thirty Four is a thing, and it will continue to be a thing well after we're dead. And yet, I wonder if there's anywhere on this planet that will take us. I do what I can to suppress the anxiety in my chest, and keep walking. Keep walking, but you won't knock down our wall. Keep walking. Your brains are very small. It's clear to see that your brains are very small. To think walking, who will be knocking down our wall? I reach out and aha, another choice. Ah, all right, this is okay. This is not, see, see, did it, did it surprise you? Hey, don't, don't you love this game's just little hidden surprises? Support Devol's right, body. Gonna, Thank right, yeah, you. I'm gonna, I'm gonna choose. I'm gonna choose the not so sexy route. Okay, so I'm I'm supporting the body now because I understand that Devil is hurt and needs in you know could really use a hand just getting along here. As long as I have some, uh, I have someone with whom to share my fate. That I will press on, no matter what happens to me. Keep on. It's a shame that the Volvo and Popular aren't really in this fucking game. Well, they are now. I mean, one twenty-minute segment of of a fake choose-your-own-adventure story does not really count as <laughs> gameplay, Mister Cloud. And, and in the next part, scene. we'll go back to the normal fucking game, at least fucking yes. hopefully. For that is the fate we twin androids have been assigned. So yeah, I finally supplied my own narrative. And in the next part...